right, I started today being a little optimistic and doing a steel plate run. However, every world was taken, so I ended up just leaving because I wasn't able to get <coughs> any steel plates to elk. Um, I got some boots of lightness because I've been postponing that for ages, and now that I have teleports, I really didn't have an excuse to not get my boots of lightness. Um, usually, you shouldn't get them at the beginning of an account because they don't actually require any quest or skill or anything you just need a candle and a knife and uh, they reduce your weight by four kilos so it's pretty stupid that i got them that late but you know better late than never um after that i completed troll stronghold and uh, the boss fights that i showed here i recorded all of them but uh, they weren't that difficult like you know i get hit once or twice but then i'm able to save spot them and it's a pretty decent method actually since I'm such a low level. I'm probably going to do the same for Troll Romance and Contact because those require pretty difficult bosses as well. And they are able uh, you are able to save spot those. However, uh, quests like Dragon Slayer and um, I don't know the the latest recipe for disaster quest is um I'm not able to save spot those. So that's a bit of a problem, but I'll figure that out later. I'll probably just train my combat. So I um, needed a quorum, and since I don't have the uh, for um, red catcher's quest, and I didn't have the herbal level, obviously, to identify one of them, and since I can't buy them, I identified them in Narda. And I, the reason why I showed it is because it's a boring clip, but you know, just to show that I really don't have any player interaction, I don't let, uh, I don't trade with anyone. I actually used a game mechanic thing to uh, identify my herb, so it's you know it's still right according to the rules. And I got a looting bag, which I spent two or three episodes on trying to get. I got it while killing druids for herbs, uh, since I was there anyway. So I figured, why why not um, kill some druids? And I got the looting bag, finally. After that, I started with Dragon Slayer, and I got through the maze. And getting through the maze was pretty easy. I didn't even bring any um, magic runes, even though you have to kill a lesser demon at the end. And I didn't actually think of that until I was really far into the maze already. Uh, but I didn't want to restart it, so I just tried to kill the lesser demon with a uh, melee, and it actually worked. My combat stats aren't that good, actually. I mean, they're um, they're not bad, but but I definitely won't be able to complete all quests with them, obviously. And I'm not able to use any special attacks, and my best weapon is a rune scimitar. So uh, it's, since Dragon Slayer is a free-to-pay quest, I got pretty lucky that I uh, completed it. And you will see me kill Elvark. Uh, I also recorded getting all the map pieces, obviously. Uh, but those aren't that interesting. I just put them in there to really, I don't know, just talk over them, so to say. So I had to kill Elvark twice. Well, I, I tried killing him twice. And the first time I ran out of food, well, he was nearly half HP. And it was pretty bad. I was really... um. Well, it was really annoying that I didn't kill him in the first try, so I had to get back. Uh, luckily, I opened the wall, you know, um, there, there's a wall near Elvarg, and if you open it, you're able to use it from Karamja, so you don't have to repair your ship another time. And that was uh, the reason why I was able to get there without making my ship twice, and I recommend you definitely do that if you haven't completed Dragon Slayer, and if you're unsure if you're able to defeat him. So, as you can see, when I started fighting him, his uh, hit points was already a pretty low, and that's because I killed him on the same world, and that, and I left banked, and when I got back, he still hadn't uh, gotten his full health. So it's not like someone else killed him, it was just me, and I teleported away. I um, got some d decent combat um, experience from that, which was fine. Uh, it's not no big deal, because I know that I'll get you know, comet isn't that difficult of a quest, and obviously I had to sell a cat this episode, and it got me 100 death runes. I also completed a creature of Frankenstein, and it didn't get me any level, but after I created that, I realized that I was able to do all both Elemental Workshop 1 and Elemental Workshop 2, both quest series, and I don't necessarily need the armor or anything, but uh, the reward wa rewards are insane if your levels aren't that high, and I've been struggling with crafting and smithing for a little bit, but um, just because I don't want to train them, I don't want to train them until I've completed all the quests that give experience in that quest. So I completed both quests, and it boosted my crafting and smithing level up by a lot. 
Oh, and I changed my character skin color because I don't know. I just like this better. I think it looks better with pink suit. That's that's just a real minor detail. <laughs> so there's me completing Elemental Workshop two, and my um, crafting and smithing boost uh, skyrocketed again. Like I got thirty five crafting and thirty six smithing. Got a lot of total levels done that day, and I'm really glad that I actually got uh, those levels from a quest because I definitely wouldn't enjoy quests as much as I am now when I wouldn't get any levels uh, from the reward experience when I've already trained my levels. So that's me completing, um, I don't know, a recruitment drive. I think, I'm not even sure I missed what the, what the quest was called, but it got me 22, um, 22 Slayer. And I, I, Slayer was one of those skills where I thought I have to train this from level one and it's going to suck. But it didn't. I'm level 22 Slayer now, all from quests. Same with Herbler, by the way. Um, uh, side note for um, that quest um, that I just completed, Shades of Morton. It was a terrible quest. It was really annoying because uh, fixing everything on your own and, and doing it, it's impossible. And it was one of the most dreadful quests that I've ever done. And I'm sure that I spent around four hours just completing such an easy quest. And it was really annoying. I also completed um, Red Catchers, as you can see here, with my Quarm. I was pretty happy about that. And after that, I wanted to complete Troll Romance. And um, Troll Romance required a Maple Log, so I was able to complete it with all the skills that I had, but I needed a Maple Log, and I didn't have that. So I uh, decided to get level 45 Woodcutting, but getting 45 Woodcutting with a Steel Hatchet, or a Black Axe, actually, which I had, wasn't something that I really wanted to do, so I completed Lost City, and um, that gives. Um, and I com also com I am going to complete Fairy Tale Part One and Part uh, Start Part Two, so I am able to use the Fairy Rings and kill Tree uh, Spirits in one of those hidden locations, so I can get a Rune Axe. Uh, this is my bank. I really need to organize it. I'm sorry about that. And my skills, obviously. Uh, total experience and my quest points and I went from 100 to 119 quest points and at um, this amount of quest points I think that's a pretty decent achievement. Alright so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.